Hello dears, welcome to my poem appreciation. And today's poem that I want to appreciate is success. This poem was written by Henry Wadsworth Longfellow, a very famous American poet. And let's enjoy this poem first. Okay, All right. Dears, let us start. This poem talks about success. Everyone loves success to attain. You, I, and all the human beings want to achieve success in each and every field. Let's start. We have no wings. We cannot soar, but we have feet to scale and climb. By slow degrees, by more and more, the cloudy summits of our time. Just once again the four lines. We have no wings, we cannot soar, but we have feet to scale and climb. By slow degrees, by more and more, the cloudy summits of our time. You know that human beings are weak. We cannot fly because we have no wings. So how do we reach? How do we reach at the higher places? We cannot soar. Soar means fly. Fly in the sky. That is soaring. S-O-A-R. Unfortunately, human beings are lacked with lacked with the wings. So, we can't fly high. But, how do we reach the cloudy summits of our time? What is the way? So, the poet suggests that the poet suggests that we have feet to scale and climb. Yes, human beings have their feet to scale, to measure and to climb and to reach the cloudy summits of our time. Summits means the heights that we want to reach, our destinations, our goals. Our goals are cloudy because we don't know the exact nature of our goals. We only understand the exact nature of our goals when we reach there. So our heights, our heights are cloudy. It's just like a misted, filled with the clouds. So that destination is not very clear to us. But how do we reach there? We reach there by slow degrees, by slow degrees, by more and more, slowly, slowly, or oh, slower, slower. And we reach to the to our cloudy summits. So we need not, we needn't have wings, and we need not fly, but we reach, we reach to our destinations by slow degrees. So success cannot be achieved by an overnight. It is a continuous process. We need to suffer. We need to work hard. We need to walk miles and miles to reach there. Okay. So cloudy summits, cloudy summits represent our destinations. Okay. So to reach there, we need to overcome hurdles, troubles, difficulties. Okay. But now let's see what's the first question given here okay identify the first question identify the line that indicate human strength okay identify the line that indicate human strength did you identify i identified yes i identified see the poet suggests that Human beings have feet to scale and climb. So our strength, our strength is our feet to scale and climb. 
and such a way we overcome yards and yards of length and let us see the second stanza the mighty pyramids of stone that verge like cleave the desert airs when nearer seen and better known are but gigantic flights of stairs what do you feel when you see a huge pyramid or many pyramids that you see in each they are mighty very strong they are made of stone huge stones are used to build the pyramids and their shape is like this wedge like triangular triangular this shape is called wedge like and they cleave and they cleave the sky they split to the sky they they are stood erect they are stood erect in the sky okay they stand in height so they cleave they split the desert as you know the pyramids are built in egyptian deserts okay and they are so mighty powerful so how do we conquer this kind of things how do we see these mighty pyramids and the cloudy summits are hurdles or the destinations that we have to conquer okay so that is the second question and that you, we have to answer let's go by both sides understanding the poem and analyzing the questions what do the words cloudy summit and pyramids imply what do they imply that is the strongholds or that is the destinations or the higher levels that is our goals that is our goals that we have to reach okay so how do you feel about pyramid when you go nearer when nearer seen and better known if you go near and understand them well you can see their steps steps are not as gigantic as we see them far away so these gigantic ghost like structures are made with small stairs steps of stairs so the steps are not so gigantic but they added together we get a mighty pyramid okay so there also success no success is possible only through small steps small steps the gigantic pyramid is made with a small not very small relatively small steps of stairs okay and let's move to the third stanza now look at the distant mountains the distant mountains that uprear the distant mountains that uprear the solid bastions of skies are crossed by pathways that appear as we to higher level rise the distant mountains that appear the solid bastions of the skies are crossed by pathways that appear as we to higher level rise now if you want to conquer if you want to cross a distant mountain that appear that appear means that rise that rise that rise far away and these mountains are like solid bastions of the skies what is bastions bastions means fortified area guarded area see we cannot easily easily reach there because hurdles are there so solid these distant mountains are also shown as an image in this part of our hurdles or the goals that we want to reach the destinations are not easy to reach because this distant mountains are always fortified by 
solid very strong fortified areas and these areas in the case of mountains these areas are built are built in the sky so if you want to cross these distant mountains how can you reach there yeah then you need to cross the pathways these pathways are not so gigantic these pathways may be small or smaller and so these distant mountains that rise are crossed how do you cross them by pathways sideways small ways or passes we say passes some passes are there some pathways are there that appear <coughs> when you <coughs> when we reach higher levels yes <coughs> when we rise to higher levels when we go near to this mountain when we approach them then we see this pathways so crossing these pathways you reach the distant mountains what does the poet want to explain the poet says that these distant mountains are nothing but your goals so you, if you want to conquer if you want to reach your goals what to do you have to cross through pathways sideways you cannot simply reach there as quickly as a bird reach there okay so you need to suffer too much you need to take risk and then so you need to use tricks you need to know more okay and what about the last line dear yes? last answer the heights by great men reached and kept were not attained by sudden flight but they while their companions slept were toiling upward in the night the heights by great men reached and kept you know in the history of mankind or or when we watch around the world there are many great people we say great men great men like abraham lincoln mahatma gandhi and uh, uh, jawaharlal nehru or many other great personalities in the world so the heights they reached and kept were not attained by sudden flight so they didn't fly because they were not birds and they didn't have wings also then how did they attain attain means how did they get how did they achieve their great place in history only by look at the last line they were toiling upward in the night they were toiling they were hardling they were taking much risk yes they were doing difficult task they were engaged in difficult task to achieve their goals but what others did this time others their companions they slept soundly but great men they didn't sleep they worked hard that is toiled worked hard toiling upward means working hard and hard and then only they could they could reach their great place in the history so we say this rome is not built in a day the great roman empire or the great roman city is not built in a day we say that's a proverb so this stanza reminds us this proverb rome is not built in a day okay so dear i think that you understood the meaning of this poem success success can't be attained within a day or success can't be attained overnight but we must be persevere we must have perseverance 
we must have patience then we must work hard then only we reach to height thank you dears thank you very much for